Wrapping up September. That was a new cemetery video every single Friday in the month of September. And where I'm at today to wrap everything up might look a little familiar to you. If you've been a fan of the channel, and if you've been following us from the very beginning, you don't know about the Wolfinger Cemetery. But this is where the very first video was shot, where I had my MP3 recorder knocked over. This is where years ago, probably about 10 years ago, my friends came out here and we got a really good EVP of a little girl saying, I wanna come out and play. So I shot the first video alone, then I got in touch with Tammy and we collaborated to give you the channel that we have now. We came back out here twice and not only do I have family out here, which I knew about my my grandfather, my grandmother, my uh, great aunts and uncles are buried out this way. My grandpa used to live over there just beyond the cemetery. Um, and over in that direction, it's part of a metro park here in the Toledo area. Back in the day though, it was just a big neighborhood. So we'd always have our family reunions out here. If you wanna see the full video, I'm gonna put a card up at the top. It kind of explains the history of the cemetery, what it means to me and my family. Little did we know though, that Tammy has family here as well. I think the Leonardston stone is up here. It's either this tall one here or the tall one beyond it. Right here. So this is where Tammy's family and she had no idea. She came out here with me and we went to shoot a bunch of uh, the bigger videos that we do. I said, hey, let's do the uh, Wolfinger Cemetery and see if we come up with something. And she found her family. You've got some older headstones over here. You've got some newer headstones down towards the road. And on top of all this, this cemetery is said to be incredibly haunted, mainly at night. Of course, I'm out here during the day, but as you see, these headstones go back quite a ways, uh, 1800s, 1882. And this one's completely destroyed. The nice thing about the cemetery, though, is it is in the park, which is guarded by the Metro Park Police, the Rangers. I'm hoping weather did this and not an actual person, because if you're one that goes and trashes a cemetery, you, my friend, are absolute trash. And Tammy had that in some of her videos earlier on in the month, too, where she came across some stones that were completely trashed. It's all about being respectful. This is one of my favorites. It's a big Sawyer stone. Which I would imagine is a big family plot. You can't really read can really just read Sawyer right there. I don't know if it's coming up on the camera for you guys. As I'm exploring, I'll tell you some of the haunted history. The big lore around this cemetery are three children that are said to haunt this place at night. Tammy picked up on them last time that we were here. The lore is of a little girl named Eliza in another area of the cemetery that comes out to play at night. And I'm gonna tell you what just scared the living tar out of me. I just saw this headstone and I thought it was a little girl like sitting here. Tammy's theory is that the EVP that we got of Eliza saying you wanna come out and play which I'll play right now for you, was that of the three kids that are actually buried here separately from Eliza. It'd be great if you come out and play right now. Okay. Oh, Eliza, Eliza. These old stones. So what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna do a EVP session again because the EVPs are pretty hot out here. We've got them a couple times in the last few videos that I've done. And I'll also break out the K2. I wanted to show you guys some of the unique headstones though because they are just so cool. There's one over here. It's actually shaped like a log cabin really windy out today. It's kind of got an eerie feel to it. Oh, here's the log cabin. 
So a lot of these stones are from the late 1800s. So what I'm thinking we'll do is we'll walk over to Eliza's stone first, see if we can get any EVP audio, any anomalies with ghost tube, and then from there we'll go over to where the three children are buried. It's an interesting stone. Um, people still come out here and put toys and whatnot on the stone. So I'll show you that here in just a second. I think this is Eliza's stone up here. It looks like somebody put flowers on it. Wallace, here's Eliza. I'm actually gonna take out my MP3 recorder. This is where we do our EVPs. Basically an EVP is electronic voice phenomena where spirits are said to be able to manipulate the recordings. Hi Eliza. Figured I'd come out and say hi again. It's been about a year or so. I didn't, Tammy's not with me this time, but I'm sure next time she's in town, she'll come by and say hi to you. If you're here, feel free to talk to me like you did last time through the recorder. that little rectangular box on top of your stone. I know you know what it is because you've definitely played with it before. So if you wanna come out and play, you can do that. I'm also gonna get the ghost tube app out. Oh, check that out. We got activity on the K2. K2 picks up any disturbance, wow. The K2 picks up any electromagnetic disturb disturbance which spirits are said to be able to manipulate. That thing is going crazy. Eliza, if you're here, come on out and say hi. You're probably going to be getting a lot of visitors here over the next few weeks. Holy cow. Keep in mind, there's nothing out here that would cause this to go off. There's no power or anything. My camera would not do this. I got the ghost tube app up and going too. Let's see it's... You're gonna hear this. That's my the ghost tube app going. Can you feel me? You're clearly out here with us though. I can see you're lighting up my toys. Eliza, is that you? I'm not going to go anywhere for a while. By the way, for the full story on Eliza and the history of the cemetery, check out the very first video. We'll put a link to it in the description. Check out the very first video. We'll put a link to it in the description. Eliza, if that's you, can you light up the little box that's sitting next to your stone or talk into the box that's on top? Deep. All right, Eliza, well, I'm gonna go over to the other stone. If you wanna come with me, you're free to come with me if you'd like. We can go talk to the other people. The thought is these kids all died of some sort of sickness at some point because they died fairly close together. But the lore and the story is that these are the kids that are haunting the cemetery. And Tammy believes that they are the ones who followed me down to the other area of the park in the last video, which the link to that is in the bio, and knocked over my equipment and were screwing with me on that very first video that I cut for the project that at the point didn't exist. It was just my, my What's a Josh YouTube channel. I'm actually gonna put some of this stuff up to see if we start getting anything. Recorder is still on. Actually put the K2 right here. 
Okay. Look at that. Did you see that? The K2 is going absolutely insane over there, and there's no way that MP3 recorder would be doing that. I'm also gonna run Ghost Tube. Foolish. Foolish, in a kid's voice. Did you guys hear that? I don't even have it recording on my Ghost Tube app yet. I'm just gonna turn this up. I've been recording on this, but I didn't have it recording yet, and it just said foolish, and it was in a little kid's voice. In the Ghost Tube app, it'll use the type of voice. I don't know how it picks the voice that it's going to be using. We see all these kids' toys out here. A little Frankenstein, some cars. Hey, if you guys are around and want to talk, I would love to communicate with you. I would love to talk with you. You might remember me from last time. My name is Josh. Maybe Eliza's with us this time. Those are dogs in the background. So it's Thomas, Rebecca, and Ernest. Heart attack. Heart attack. Did you have heart problems? I couldn't have killed all three of them. Are you the one touching the light on that little box? You guys can talk into the little rectangle on top of Ernest Stone. Crime is what it said. Oh no, I'm sorry. Here's the toy that I left last time. If you can see that or not. You guys like the toy that I left you? Who's coming to get you? So Thomas was born in 57. Died in 65. Rebecca was born in 55, died in 65. Ernest was born in 59, died in 66. And if you look at the times that they died, it's all right around the same time. Late December, early January. I kind of wonder what caused their death so early. Is anybody here with me right now? I'm gonna clean your stone a little, oops. You won't understand. You won't understand. I don't understand. I'm assuming you guys got sick somehow. Just to show you guys that something was probably happening right there, and again, I haven't gone through the MP3 recorder, that K2 was lighting up like crazy, and it hasn't gone back off since. And I'm nowhere further away or nowhere closer to what it was doing. That's actually pretty incredible. Every time I come out here, I get some sort of evidence that there's something else out here. Do you see a doorway? And also, it's crazy that the voices in the Ghost Tube app have all switched over to children's voices. Green Sun. Are you the grandchild of somebody? Or is there someone in here looking for their grandson? What's crazy is my grandpa is actually buried in here. That gave me chills. I'm always talking about my grandpa's story from living over there in that area directly in front of me. Cool. K2 just went off again. K2 keeps lighting up. I actually just walked further away from it. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Who am I talking to? I'm trying to pretend that that's not my grandfather trying to communicate with me. 
<laughs> Who's with me right now? Somebody's with me. I can feel your presence. Can I get a name? Hey, yeah, ghost tube isn't going nuts like it was. All right, guys, I'm gonna pick up and go. Thanks for uh, hanging out with me. I know you're with me. I can feel somebody's presence. And what's crazy is I am not, nor do I claim to be a psychic, <laughs> but I could definitely feel something. So did anything just happen? I don't really know. I'll say this, the K2 was going kind of crazy and I was starting to get some interesting words on the Ghost Tube app, which again, I always say, I'm skeptical of that app, but every so often, man, it makes sense. So that is gonna do it for September. That was our final video for this month of going to various cemeteries, doing some exploring, having some interesting things happen. If this is the only video you've seen in the series, go back and watch some of the stuff that Tammy put up because she connected so many different dots and so many really cool cemeteries as well. Keep in mind, the Eloise video gonna be out in just a few weeks. Keep your eye on the channel for that one. And go to paranormalexploring.com. We've got merch now, t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, all sorts of cool stuff and all the purchases go to help us fund our next big adventure because these things aren't free. Well, this where I'm at right now is free, but a lot of these big locations charge a lot of money and we need your help. Subscribe to the channel, tell your friends, and join us for the next big video, Eloise Asylum and Halloween weekend. It's going to be amazing. We're going to be at the Cottonwood again, and I'm hearing rumor of a funeral home. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye guys, I'm sure I'll see y'all again. <laughs>